Jack, you've just completed your 200th consecutive game. Must be nice to tick that milestone for the win. And how much does that mean to you? Yep, yeah, um, I was just saying before, it's just I never thought I would have been here in, in my life. Obviously, I uh, had a dream as a kid to play AFL football. Then it's just consistent AFL football. And then bloody nine and a half years later, here we are, 200 in a row. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, something I'm very proud of. It must be nice having the family and the girls running around the change rooms even now. Yeah, that definitely helps. Um, they made the trip over to uh, support me in the 200th in a row, which is nice. Uh, Mum and Dad are here as well. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're my biggest support, support base and they help me mentally switch off after games and in the week. So they're a big reason why I'm able to play the game that I do. We know you're a great preparer for matches. Can you talk to the preparation for today's coming over to the West? Yeah, um, so it was good that we trained at the club yesterday. So when we got over here last night, we were able to chill a, f a fair bit. Um, but I, unfortunately, Mickey's okay with it now, but on a away trip, so I'll have my own room, get a good night's sleep. Um, cause apparently the kids up at five this morning. <laughs> we had a few messages from Mickey. But, um, but yeah, I always managed to have a little lay down as well. So even though we left at 12.30, I was up at seven and in bed at 9.30 to 11.30. So that was pretty chill, but pre-game pasta, not before. Love that. Um, the team looked particularly connected in the second half today. Can you speak to the messages at halftime and, and you know, that connection in the second half? Yeah, we got a bit of a rev up half time because we're getting smacked around the clearances and the stoppage work. Um, I think we we're down 10 for the half. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all the great work. We put the backs under a lot of pressure. So uh, the main messaging was about that and getting the ball forward so we can hold territory. Um, but um, yeah, around the grounds were pretty good. The, the backs did really well in the aerial. Um, and then with our ball moving transition going forward, we were yeah, really good, able to execute. Um, they yeah, definitely put us to the sword a fair bit, uh, but yeah, we're able to settle ourselves at the end of the third. And looking forward to King's birthday now. What's the next week look like for you? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a great game. Cannot wait. Um, but luckily we've got a few days off, so I'm going to be hanging around Perth with the kids and just have a little holiday. Because um, I've got Lyle out of school for Monday, Tuesday and, and yesterday. So, yeah, we'll just be hanging around. This, this is my break here with the kids. And then next week when we're actually on the break, I'll probably still be in Melbourne. Love it, mate. Congrats. Thank you. Go, Pies.